Thanks for listening to Jim, Deb, and Kevin, three hometown Hoosiers, and now 2022 CMA Award winners. 95.5 WFMS. 95.5 WFMS. Jim, Deb, and Kevin on this Thursday morning. Great to have you by. It's chilly. It's No, it's cold. <laughs> it is kind of I had cold to go back point. in my uh, garage and get my heavier jacket. Oh, yeah? Uh, before coming here and then warm up my... I, I can't get my truck in the garage just yet because I'm still doing a little wood, woodworking yeah, project, so right. everything's out. Oh, so but i got to get frosty. it done today so I can get that truck back in the in the garage. Yeah, it's frosty. It's cold. Yeah, yeah. I forgot my jacket. I forgot you my jacket. Oh, so a blanket. I okay. Well, see, that's what the thing well, If you have a garage, you go out, you're not thinking about it. You get in your vehicle, you get to work, then you get out and like, wow, it's cold. Oh, right. Hey, yeah. hello. That, that was me. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is uh, 37 degrees now Whoa. with clear skies. The Country Station 95.5 WFMS. WFMS. Jim, Deb, and Kevin on this Thursday morning. FFA conventions in Indy. Yeah, welcome uh, all those uh, blue jacketed uh, <laughs> young men and women in town for the convention. Uh, we have this every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, Always a big event. We are, of course, the headquarters for the Future Farmers of America, but uh, they have their annual convention here, so we have kids from literally all over the country mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, some famous alumni okay. uh, of, of FFA, uh, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. I didn't has know a blue that. Jacket. Uh, he Easton, would look good in that blue jacket. Easton <laughs> Corbin has a jacket. Okay. Mm-hmm. Eddie Montgomery has a jacket. Oh, cool, yeah. Trace Adkins has a jacket. His is probably triple X. Yeah, they go to the big and tall yeah. side. And yeah. Taylor Swift. That's right, Taylor Swift. Has a jacket. So, How did I not know all this? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they're all a little so, bit. Someone to listening right now yeah. who's here in town for the convention might be the next Tim McGraw, Easton Corbin, right. Andy Montgomery, Trace Atkins, or Taylor Swift. Who knows? Well, 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 you know, farmers get up early, so I'm, I'm betting you they're up early listening. I'm sure they are. Sure yeah. they are, yeah. too. So Future we're, farmers. We're in the uh-huh. blue with pride. 95.5 WFMS. Good morning. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin. So uh, we've established that uh, Jim is not a fast driver, and that would be one reason why, Jim, you could never be a bank robber. I think another reason why is it's not in your DNA. You're not a you're not a bad guy. You wouldn't do <laughs> right, anything right. like that. <laughs> but another reason why you couldn't be a bank robber is because of what happened to someone in the UK recently. Okay. Uh, they went to a bank to rob the bank. Well, that's where you go if you're robbing and a bank. And they slipped the teller a note. Oh, no. And the teller couldn't read the guy's handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> that so, would be Jim. So he left. And he went to two other places and tried to do it, and none of them could read his Maybe handwriting. Maybe he should have typed it. <laughs> yeah, right. So Jim right. can't. Okay, like, Jim can't be a bank robber. Like, I don't, I don't, and a doctor. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, sir. Yeah. What is this? I don't what know what. This? I mean, he slipped her a note. It the, wasn't the, obvious. The last time he slipped her a note, but he had a mask on and he mumbled, and so she couldn't even understand, understand what, what he was saying? trying to say <laughs> about the, the uneligible, uh, un, uh, unintelligible. Uh, 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 anyway, the the, the the note that he couldn't read. So anyway. So, Oh, you couldn't be that either, Jim, well because that. Jim has horrible handwriting. A we horrible. kind of make a joke about it. Uh-huh. Jim will leave us little notes here, and I'll say to Deb, Deb, what, what does this say? <laughs> I'll repeat a sentence, and it's nothing close to what he meant. <laughs> I can read it. Sir, you want to make a deposit? Do that- bank robbers <laughs> take uh, transcribers with them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a tendency occasionally to mumble, too, so you're yeah. right. There's not occasionally. You never be a bank robber, Jim. <laughs> yeah. uh, multiple reasons why. But right. You right. can never do that. Usually Don't, when you yeah, say something, Jim, that. and you're mumbling, uh, we get the last word. <laughs> so if you went in and said, no one gets hurt, but give me all your money. All we would hear was money. Yeah. yeah money. You want to make a deposit? That's fine. Absolutely. Here. Welcome. Here's your new toaster. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Here's your new toaster. 95.5, the money by is Jim, Dab, and Kevin on a Thursday, a throwback Thursday. We're going back in time. Scotty McCreary, who's had hit after hit, after hit for a while here. Yeah. Now and, new, brand new dad. Brand new father. That's right. That's right. So he'll be changing the diapers there. Uh, <laughs> the song This Is It was a, a number one song for him. Mm-hmm. It's a very romantic song. So we... Yeah. On our throwback Thursday, went back and asked him if he's romantic. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If she'd, I don't know if she'd say that or not. I, I try to be. I try to be. You yeah. Know, you can always be a little more than. than sure. You are. Yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's a great right. song. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. I never. I really didn't think that song would make the album. I mean, I, I wrote that specifically for her and yeah. played it for her when we got engaged. And once the label heard it, they're like, "Oh no, no, no! Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're taking that. We're putting it on the radio." Every, so, everybody can relate oh, to it. You don't want yeah, to it's cool, man. The other night we were playing a show and two people. Uh, got engaged during the during the song, Aww. and it's not bad for the second guy because he's like, "What's going on?" I mean, he, he had to do it. <laughs> no, was that hard for you to put it on the album because it's personal? No, I love I love okay. talking about her. Okay. I, I love I love sharing our story. It was great, um, but it was just a surprise. I, there is a line in the song though where you talk, and I got to remember exactly how you say it. You, um, you make a reference that she's been wondering. 
uh-huh. when it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that? And I remember thinking, so I wonder, was she kind of getting impatient? Because you guys were together a while. She never put any pressure on me. Okay. I, I was talking to her friend, so I knew that she had been asking, like, yeah. sure. do you sure. think he's thinking about it? Do you think he has a ring? But she never once put any pressure on me, which I appreciated. Right. But I, did, I had the ring in my closet for about four months in a shoebox, just sitting there, right. hoping just she wasn't going to go through just the Just waiting closet. for the right moment? Or? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you know, know you're we've, romantic then. We've, we've talked to you back when you first won American Idol, and now, yeah. now and you really haven't changed. Oh, yeah. uh, that, that evidently is a gained a few pounds. Example of your of your upbringing, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy to think. I feel like I've been doing this forever. It's been eight years now, and I'm still just 25. So it's that it's been cool something. to see some some dreams come true and hit some goals. But you're but still I, as humble as you were when you first won. I think that's uh, great. Very well, grounded. You. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. I got people that slap it out of me if I <laughs> if I get a big head. That's yeah. right. They don't really care. So it, it's cool. But we're we're having fun. That's all that matters. So. Well, you you uh, wrote most songs, or if not all of them, on that album, didn't you? Yeah, every song on the record, right. which again wasn't planned. Uh, that whole between my second album and my third album, none of that was planned. I mean, we got ended up getting dropped by a label and stuff. We had a full album ready; it didn't come out. So I had five years to write eleven good songs. Yeah. So I mean, I hope I could at least write eleven in five years. You done good. Oh we, we, we had we had a lot of time to work with, so yeah. that probably helped us out. That was some. probably the best thing for you. It kind of kind of put things in perspective and kind of made me grow up a little, pull myself up by the bootstraps, and, and say, you know what, you can either mope or you can work harder right. and, yep. so we're, we're here today well, we're glad so. you're in country music you no, definitely we represent I, us I well I love being here so thank yeah. you all good for, ambassador for us I appreciate thank, it thanks Scotty a little throwback Thursday with yeah. Scotty McCreary so and nice he, he is a very humble guy mm-hmm. very nice and, guy uh, and, con- and very uh well, humble and kind. That's the title. Um, but he's always just so personable. You yeah. Know? yeah. Very he, polite. He likes hunting, fishing, loving every day. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Get, get I was just doing song titles. Okay. I was doing here. Right. Thank you. 95.5 WFMS. Jim, Dab, and Kevin. This uh, statistic will make you go, ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Chicago is the nation's r- rattiest city. Rattiest. It has yeah, the most, most rats. rats. Oh. Uh, and Indianapolis is number 15, and Fort Wayne is number 48. Wow, we're 15? That's Yeah, so we high. made the, we, two of our cities made the top 50 states with the most rats. Wow. So welcome, folks, who are about out of town. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm out of town. Welcome yeah. to Indianapolis, the 15th most rattiest city in the nation. That's just a dog. Yeah, it's just a dog. <laughs> yeah, it's a raccoon. No, it's it's a raccoon. It's a big squirrel. Uh, um, yeah, so, but but if you're a cat, that's kind of a good stat. You wouldn't. Yeah, it's good for you. Right. Keep People, them busy. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a rat up up close or in person. Well, have you? Take a little trip downtown. I yeah, I I'll, I'll pass. Have yeah, you? I have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I don't know if I'd handle that very well. I, 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 I can guarantee you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? A hundred percent. Without a doubt. Wow, where's the faith? Had a big meeting yesterday with the CMA and the producers of the Red Carpet Radio. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be down in uh, Nashville a week from, help me out, a week from this coming Monday. All right? Uh, Actually, we leave the Sunday. Yes. Sunday. This coming Sunday. So, yeah. uh, and then we'll be broadcasting live down there um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before the show, uh, of course, on, on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, it's going to be exciting, CMA Awards. Uh, Deb, I saw this new trend. I wonder if we can talk you into it. Okay. It has nothing to do with a, an outfit to wear, but they say the newest trend for women is to wear makeup that looks like they've just cried. Why would you want to do that? And if that? you Google it and you see it, it looks like their makeup's... Kind of you know, you know, the, the, the Carrie Underwood uh, cry... Cry pretty? Cry pretty. It looks kind of like oh, that. Like that. Yeah, no okay. way. So I think you could go to the award Hideous. show. We could walk the red carpet. Oh, we could gosh. do the whole thing. And you look like you've been crying. No She's way. So emotional. How, why would so it, emotional. Why would that be a trend? It's why, a new trend. Why is that a thing? Well, it's, it brings attention to yourself. And that's what people want. I guess they want the attention. Well, I don't want attention to myself. I, I don't want that. No? So you're no. a hard no on that. I'm a, a fast no. When's the last time you changed your makeup style? Well, I got new. I didn't change my style, but I got a new eyeshadow the other day because I, well, it's not a surprise. I dropped the other one and it crumbled. <laughs> so I had to replace it. And I just looked in the mirror in the wait, bathroom. Time out. Time out. Was, hey, it in, was it in the toilet by chance? No, it was okay. my car. Okay. okay. That would have okay. been funny. Right. Okay. So I, ch- I got this new shade. It's not the same as the other one. I couldn't find what I had before. So I got this new shade and I just walked into the bathroom here at work. And I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm like, what is the deal with I look exhausted. I think the, the shade. Take your glasses off. Let's see. The shade makes me look tired. See, you're halfway there to tired yeah. to cry. No, I'm not Go doing with it. it. Right. So I need to replace this one now. You, no. You look so tired, you should cry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know think? why people would, would <laughs> intentionally want to look sad. That's um, just. Well, it could be happy, too. Like, you know, you yeah, just won the CMA happy. Award. Oh, yeah. You know, well. you hold it up and, and there's your tears. And like, look, she's so emotionally into it. I, I think you should do it, Deb. I think it'd be awesome. We'd I thought get, you were going to mean we like. We get additional exposure for winning the CMA Award 
and then the, you know co-host cries while getting the award. <laughs> right. It would be great. Come on, cry I thought for breakfast, yeah. cry for right. lunch, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> a, <laughs> maybe a mist or something, so it looks like you know it's really just nice and like you have moist skin or something. Right. Your eyes are just kind of watering all a little the time, bit. <laughs> but not black streaked <laughs> mascara. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Try some one. Zyrtec. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Bad allergies. <laughs> All right, so I guess we got a hard no on that, Jim. That's <laughs> exactly. not I think most would say no. Uh, we well, tried to sell it, didn't Okay. We? It's time for another exciting round of Can't Be Dead, but our contestant here is Cameron. Good morning, Cameron. Morning. What side of town are you from, Cameron? Um, Greensburg, Indiana. Oh, oh Greensburg. Greensburg. I don't think we've had it from Greensburg no. in a while. Oh. It'll be the pride of Greensburg. You will be. Well, here's how we play. We're going to ask you five questions. We asked Deb those same five questions. If you get more right than Deb, hey, you win. But if she gets more right than you or if she ties you, then she wins. And if you're ready, let's start with question number one. All right, here we go. Question one. It's deer season in Indiana. What is the color of a John Deere tractor? Green. Question two. Hershey, Pennsylvania is known for Hershey's chocolate. Now, how much is spent on Halloween candy each year in the USA? Is it a half a million, one million, or 3.8 billion? 3.8. All right. And question three. Suzanne Summers turned 76 years old earlier this month. Now, what was the name of the character Suzanne played in the TV show Three's Company? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to guess? Move on. Uh, Suzanne. All right. <laughs> Question four, apple pies and pumpkin pies are favorite fall desserts or really any time. Which is healthier, apple or pumpkin pie? Um, apple. All right, and question five, Sam Ellinger is the new starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. Now, who was the Colts coach before Frank Reich? Was it Chuck Pagano, Jim Caldwell, or Tony Dungy? Uh, Chuck Pagano. There's our five questions. Let's bring Deb back in the room and see how she does. It's back to Can't Beat Deb. Deb is back into the studio here. She was sequestered. And say hello to Cameron. Hi, Cameron. Hey, Deb. Oh, uh, Cameron sounds very, very kind. Yeah, very nice the guy, pride yeah. of Greensburg. Kind doesn't yeah. always mean smart. <laughs> <laughs> As we'll find out <laughs> oh, no. from one of you. <laughs> I probably shouldn't trash moments. talk. All right, here we go, Deb. Question one. It's deer season in Indiana. What is the color of a John Deere tractor? It's green. That's correct. And Cameron knew that, so everybody scores. It's Deb 1, Cameron 1. I think everybody knows that. Question 2. Hershey, Pennsylvania is known for Hershey's chocolate. Now, how much is, is spent on Halloween candy each year in the USA? Is it a half a million, one million, or 3.8 billion? What? Okay, come on. Let's not be ridiculous. Um, uh, shoot. Let's see here. Can't do that. Uh, I'm going to say it's one million. It's a uh, half a million. Are you kidding? No. It is three point eight billion. Okay, that's stupid. And uh, well, Cameron knew that, so he gets the point. Well, so then he Googled it. it no, he did. <laughs> it's Deb one, Cameron two. He was very. Quick By the way, we answer. double checked our sources multiple places, and that is the that right answer. That just seems so. unheard of. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of money. All right. Question three: Suzanne Summers turned seventy six years old earlier this month. What was the name of the character Suzanne played in the TV show Three's Company? Oh, Chrissy. <laughs> That's correct. Right. Did she snort? Cameron couldn't come up with a name, so he just said Suzanne, which is her real name. That's sure. not right. So Deb scores. We're all tied now. Deb two, Cameron two. All right, question four. Apple pies and pumpkin pies are favorite fall desserts. Now, which is healthier, apple or pumpkin pie? Well, this is going to be a total trick question. Okay. Pumpkin has good nutri nutrients in it. Apple can still have some sugar, so I'm going to say pumpkin. That's correct. And Cameron guessed apple, which is not right. So Deb gets the point. Oh, I don't sound. I mean, so Deb yeah. gets the point. You're not happy uh, for me. It's uh, Deb three, Cameron Jeez. two. All right, here we go. Question five. Sam Ellinger is the new starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. Now, who was the Colts coach before Frank Reich? Was it Chuck Pagano, Jim Caldwell, or Tony Dungy? Oh, gosh. Oh, shoot. I should know this. I should know I live here. Uh, let's see here. Well, I'll tell you that Cameron knew it. Well, good for Cameron. Um, maybe he could be my lifeline. No, 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 I doubt no, if he'd give you the right answer. I don't think he would, yeah. So I think we went, I think we went from, didn't we go from Tony Dungy to Chuck Pagano? And I think we went from Chuck to Frank. I think it was Chuck. That's correct. Whoop, whoop. And as I said, Cameron knew that too. So everybody scores. Oh, Cameron, I'm sorry to report. It's Deb 4, Cameron 3. At least today, you don't have what it takes to beat Deb. Oh, 
Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cameron, it's time for those famous words. This is Cameron from Greensburg. I can't beat Deb. All right, but a great try. Three. You got three. That's pretty good. Yeah, if you like packing. to be a contestant, Bye, Cam. to WFMS.com, we'll get you signed up for Can't Beat Deb. Kevin's got your Nash News Now and add Miranda to the list. Yeah, I'll get to that story in about 30 seconds. Nash News Now sponsored by One Hour Heating and Cooling. So uh, someone asked Jason Audine uh, the best road prank story, and he says, well, it was actually about him. Uh, he says Tim McGraw hijacked his backstage microphone that was connected to his his ear monitor, Uh-oh. Jason's ear monitor, oh, and no. Tim kept blabbering stuff in his ear the whole time he was trying to <laughs> sing and, of oh, course, no. distracted him. Oh. You know, they mentioned that uh, sometimes Kenny Chesney would do that, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, only his band could hear it, but... Uh, uh, was it Peyton Manning had his yeah. had the ear plugged in? And he thought it was going out to the crowd. thought it was going to the whole house, and yeah. it wasn't. No. <laughs> so our website asked Americans to name something good about the United States of America. Mm-hmm. Well, sure. What's good about the USA? And one of the most popular answers, and I think the only answer, is uh, Dolly Parton, they said. Oh, oh, good about the USA. She is good. Absolutely. Everything good. We should put her on a coin. <laughs> I, I think, would. I would. Well, go no, for that. no, because you have to be dead to be on currency. Yeah, and we don't want that to happen. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, well, that's, that's true. morbid. So add Miranda Lambert to the list. Miranda Lambert released a perfume called Velvet Rodeo. She says it's inspired her uh, by her song "Acting Up," which uh, is uh, created for all the strong spirited, take no prisoner queen of hearts. So yeah, if you're you a maybe meek in personality, I don't think this is for you. I did a quick yeah. internet search, uh-huh. and there's like. 700 celebrities that have their own line of uh, perfume, (laughs) including Tim McGraw. Now, I know that because my wife bought the Tim McGraw cologne for me, thinking I would turn into Tim McGraw. It didn't work. (laughs) Uh, Taylor Swift has her own. Beyonce, Paris Hilton, Jennifer Lopez, Justin Bieber, Britney Spears, and I got tired of writing them down. There's a whole bunch of them. them. So add Miranda to that list then, too. (laughs) That's your Nash News Now. Congrats to Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Proud to be part of your morning routine and now 2022 CMA Award winners. It brightens my day. 95.5 WFMS.